everybody, it's Suzanne A. Wells, and it's time for another edition of Money Making Mondays. Now, if you are new to my Facebook group, let me tell you a little bit about these finds. All of these items are verified actual sales, and I share them with you to show you that no matter if you are a college student trying to make extra money, a baby boomer making some extra money on the side with a hobby, or a busy mom or dad, you can be successful with the resources around you right now. So let's get started. Emily paid $6.99 for this electric typewriter and she found it at Goodwill and it sold for $150. So this just goes to show that obsolete technology or what we call dead tech does sell and there is a market for it. Carla found these vintage Pyrex bowls for $15 at Goodwill and they sold for $92.56 plus shipping. Vintage Pyrex is highly collectible and there are websites dedicated to the patterns so you can figure out if the pattern is more desired than another and how much they go for. But when you can find a whole set like this you can really make some good money. Okay, Julie, she bought these replacement toothbrush heads for $1.50 at a garage sale and they sold for $36.99. This is the kind of thing that you want to look for, the small things, the littles as they call them at estate sales or the smalls. Look in the boxes, look in the bins. These kind of things sell and especially if they're new in the package, this could be a discontinued size or just hard to find in stores. So don't overlook the small things. Sylvia, she found these Columbia Sportswear cargo shorts for 33 cents. I would love to know where you're finding these things for 33 cents, Sylvia, but she probably won't share that. <laughs> um, anyway, those sold for $29.99. And her advice is to just wait for the price you think you can get. Do your research and wait for the right buyer because that is an awesome flip and a great profit on a, a pretty utilitarian item. Gabrielle, she found these Callista Tools hot rollers for $3.95 at a thrift store and they sold for $85.99. Hot rollers are a great item to sell even if you don't have all the clips or all the rollers people will buy the replacements and they'll buy the sets even if they're not complete. Just be sure to do your research on that. And I had not even heard of this brand uh, before, but uh, I'll remember it now. So that's a great sale. Okay, Doreen has been busy with Littlest Pet Shop. This is another hot item, uh, highly collectible. She got these for 25 cents each at a yard sale and sold both of them for $90 as a set. Uh, do be careful on these. There are counterfeits. There are fakes out there. I just did an article on my examiner column about how to tell the difference. But um, if they're authentic, you can really make some good money. So that is a great profit. OK, Pat found this Panasonic camcorder for $5 sold it for a hundred. This is the kind of thing you want to be sure and test out before you buy it. Make sure it works unless you're just going to sell it for parts. Probably could have sold um, all the components separately as well but did a great job selling it as one set for a hundred dollars. Okay Amy, she knows about Vineyard Vines. This is a great brand to sell. Very expensive new. She paid $2 for this tie and it sold for $25.49. Look up Vineyard Vines if you're not familiar with the brand because uh, very profitable. And if you're not uh, into selling ties or haven't tried that yet, take a look at them. Sometimes they're in the bins or baskets at thrift stores and they can be as low as a dollar. And if you can flip them for $25, that is, is worth doing. Okay, Jennifer has been busy with modesty skirts. She found this one for four dollars 
and it sold for $25.99 and the brand was Old Navy so not a super high-end brand pretty mainstream brand that you could find anywhere I've got a video about modesty skirts so if you're not familiar with that check out that video but this is a utilitarian item that you can find pretty easily a lot of times the skirts are priced lower than the jeans so your profit can be higher okay Amy she posted this it wasn't on money making Mondays but I'm gonna include it anyway just to show you that ugly and weird sells she found this Leslie Fay suit for four dollars and settled on um, actually put it on auction it sold for twenty four ninety nine so uh, ugly sells weird sells retro sells and this is definitely something that might be used as a Halloween costume or for some kind of costume party so keep that in mind when you're out there shopping and you see this retro stuff that it does sell okay Sherry found these exotic boots actually got them free and they sold for hundred and fifty dollars so never turn down anything free if it doesn't work out you can always redonate it but these are pretty wild looking pair of boots and she made a great profit on that can't beat free inventory so let's go over what we talked about in this video dead tech sells vintage has value look at the little things wait for the right buyer use the mobile app to look up items know what the hot items are modesty sells weird works and free is fabulous if you're looking for more information on what to sell or how to make your business grow then check out my complimentary newsletter it is full of useful information and it goes out twice a month and I'm sure you're not going to be disappointed I try to talk about what other people are not talking about so it'll be new and fresh information so share your finds with me if you have something interesting or unusual send me an email Suzanne at SuzanneAWells.com or you can leave it in the comments below or share it in my Facebook group stay at home mom selling on eBay and I want to thank all the contributors this week for posting on Money Making Mondays. Until next time, go make your e-commerce business amazing. Thanks for watching.